uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the statues because I've got a lot of questions about that uh, in game, on Discord, or even uh, in the comments on YouTube. Uh, King Bob asked, like, about statues, should I focus on what's more important uh, in terms of stats or all stats? Like, I'm Archer main, should I, should I only do the part? Of archer attack, archer HP, and leave the archer defense, or should I do it all and that kind of stuff? So we are going to answer most of your questions. And after the video, if you still have some questions, feel free to post a comment or hit me up on Discord, and we will try to cover it as well. Um, <clears throat> first, you have to understand that. In order to unlock all the statues, you will have to upgrade your Altar of the Sun to a certain level. You can find it here, and it only requires level 7. Past that, it is useless. You don't need to upgrade the, build the building. Um, mine is level 17, because... Um, I'm at a point where most of the buildings I haven't upgraded are either not important or like, yeah, I'm just leveling up buildings so I get points on building day. Anyway, so once you have the building level 7, you will have access to all the statues. Now, let's start with the woolly rhino. So as you guys can see, uh, my parts are not upgraded equally. So we will start with this question. Should I focus on some stats rather than upgrading everything? The correct answer is yes, you should, but... So, yes, you should, and as you guys can see, I am main archer, uh, and therefore attack is a really important stat, and which is why, like... The statues I have uh, level um, level 12, uh, my bad, 11. Yeah, they are level 11. Uh, the statues I have level 11 gives archer attack right there as a primary stat. And over here, it is also archer attack. So the statues I upgraded the most are... The one which gives the stat that I believe is the most important for archers, which is attack. So yes, I did give a priority to a, a specific stat. Now, you can see that I also have uh, two stat parts that are level 10 and two others that are level 8. So, should I just focus on one? Nope. You should prioritize one, but you shouldn't just up upgrade one. The reason for that is that some other other parts will maybe not be as important, uh, and that's pretty like arguable in the end. But yeah, they still are important though. Like Archer HP is, in my opinion, the HP stat is one of the most important stats in the game, and Maybe some players will even say that it is more important than attack, actually. But yeah, it's not the subject today. So, other stats are also important. And I believe Archer is very important. Which is why, right here, uh, this statue part is level 10. And this one is also level 10. And it upgrades the Archer HP. Um... This is also very cool to upgrade this one because it not only upgrades the archer HP but it also increases the infantry attack and my plan is to ultimately run an infantry archer archer or infantry infantry archer troop so a mixed composition and infantry lacks attacks a lot so getting a bit more attack really helps uh, with them dealing some damage back and not just being mid shield and it's right here we don't get uh infantry attack but we get infantry defense which is really important so they are pretty beefy and tank the damage very well so yeah 
it's basically a double investment so pretty interesting to go for these parts and these two that i haven't upgraded as much um they give infantry attack which is cool but as i said not a priority uh archer defense also not a thing i would prioritize prioritize uh prioritize my bad on archer and i insist on the i would but some people will really like to have beefy archers uh, it's not my case i think that they are glass cannon and they should just take glass cannon like it's pretty hard to really work on your defense being an archer because the value the base value of the defense on archer is so low but yeah to each their own and yeah maybe it would work for you maybe in the future we will we will see some pretty beefy archers and yeah whatever but yeah in my opinion not the best stat for the archers and you get some cavalry hp um uh, I don't use cavalry except for plundering and I don't intend to use them like it's already hard enough to work on one troop uh, I will eventually have to work on two because I have to work on infantry so yeah cavalry stats not my priority at all and on this one it is cavalry attack archer defense so cavalry not needed archer defense uh, not my priority and infantry HP this would be pretty interesting for me, but yeah. So the truth is now, you should definitely prioritize some stuff, but you have to upgrade everything uh, eventually, like level eight. Uh, this one I'm definitely gonna upgrade to level nine or even level 10. And the reason for that is that it simply becomes way too expensive at some point to, as you can see right there, to get to level 12, you need so many points and it is so expensive for the stat gain. Like I will earn 2% uh, archer attack, 2% cavalry defense and 0.8 HP on infantry for so many points, okay? Meanwhile, I can just upgrade this one and yeah, it's 16k and on this one it is 34k, so more than twice the, the price, okay? And I basically get the same bonus amounts, like it is 2%, 2% and 0 0.8. So you get stats for much cheaper, which is why you really should just upgrade everything and yes you can prioritize some stuff like i just did but ultimately you have to upgrade everything so i think that answers uh most of the questions we had one other advice i can give you is that don't upgrade your statues outside of the earlier day that requires you to upgrade them um, you might think that it doesn't give much points, which is true, but it's always some infinity event points that are free, so you might as well just take it, uh, cash in the rubies, cash in the resources and stuff like that. It is really micromanagement that will get you all the way to the top, because you wait, but in the end you get more rewards out of the same action that anyone would do uh, if it was not the actual day to upgrade it. So it's always a, uh, a win for you. Like today I can upgrade my Woolly Mammoth. Um, let's check if today mission... I only get points for doing research, so really there is no need to upgrade the woolly mammoth statue and it's not as if it was really game breaker anyway at this moment so i don't really need it maybe on some days like the barbarian fastness uh you will have some crazy upgrades on the natural goddess and it will really impact your results and maybe get you an mvp or something like that and then you can maybe not wait for the actual day which is building but 
in most cases, it's just better to wait for the, the day that asks you to upgrade these statue parts. Um, as for the statue, uh, the, the Rhino gives slightly better stats uh, in terms of level. Like, maybe we can compare, actually. Do I have the same level? Yeah. So, level 10 gives you... 16.5, 16.5, and 6.6. .6. Okay, Cavalry, Infantry, HP, Archer. Which one is that? Cavalry. Um, I need to 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 compare the same the same one. Infantry attack, Archer defense, Cavalry H HP, Infantry attack. I think these two are the same. Infantry attack, cavalry defense, archer HP. Infantry attack, archer defense, cavalry HP. It's not the same. Okay, where is it? This one. I just need one that is level 10. Okay. But there is the star up as well. Uh, wait a second. So, yep, we have this one, uh, Archer Attack, 19.9, uh, .9, Cavalry Defense, 19.9, .9, and Infantry HP, uh, 8%, which is the same as right there, 19.9, 19.9, and so, yeah, as you can see, it gives much more stats uh, from the Bully Rhino, than it does with this statue, okay. Uh, the thing is, you got more parts on this one, but get more, yeah, more parts on the woolly mammoth to upgrade. So overall, it's, it balances itself. But like for like one level in the mammoths gives much more stats than one level in the. Uh, in the in the rhino than in the mammoth so uh woolly really rhino is more expensive harder and stuff like that to upgrade but you get a uh, better better stats uh, stats out of it and yeah so you also have the natural essence uh that gives you warrior damage and battle speed for the first level uh, the second level also increases the water battle speed. So you can upgrade uh, whatever you want first. Regarding that, it's all the same. You will get the same boost. No matter if it's Woolly Mammoth, Smilodon Statue or whatever. You always get a 3% and 30 battle speed. Doesn't really matter. It's all the same. So yeah. It's pretty good for this, this the battle speed. I recommend that you just upgrade level one on every one, every single one of them, and then you work on level two. The reason for that is pretty simple. Level one costs fifty natural essence. Level two costs a hundred, which is twice the price, and you only get an additional twenty battle speed. Meanwhile, if you upgrade uh, two more. To level one like two other statues to level one which will be the same price because 50 times two times 50 equal 100 obviously uh, you will get 60 battle speed uh, when you only get 20 uh, by upgrading it to level two so I think it's pretty obvious but yeah not not all players pay attention to that kind of detail so I hope that it help uh, those that don't notice these things. So yeah, prioritize uh, the things that you want, but don't uh, don't forget to upgrade everything uh, in the end. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same right here. Not not a really big level difference. On Smilodon, it's the same. Uh, I actually find it really hard to star up the Smilodon because, yeah, the main 
problem is with the flawless rubber light it's pretty much the same for for the the Rudy Rhino I find it much easier to upgrade the the woolly mammoths uh, like as you can see I have tons of rubber light and I'm struggling with Ori so yeah the reason for that is pretty simple in the class shop uh, you can buy rubber light right there but you can only buy two flawless rubber light like it's, it's easier to get uh, Ori than flawless rubber light for for the rubellite and in the vein shop like you can get aquamarine easily and flawless you get four as well so yep same here so yeah it makes sense that it's a bit harder but you will get there eventually and lastly I think that this statue is probably the hardest one for people so you have to understand that to unlock all of them like for all for the other statues you you could just fill in uh, the statue parts for this one it's also the most expensive because it's the only statue where there is a gambling part like you are not guaranteed to success when you want to upgrade the, the statue part so it's pretty expensive uh, I hate it I really don't like the fact that there is RNG in in this stuff like it's already hard enough to upgrade statues but well yeah to me it's very hard to upgrade the woolly rhino and the natural goddess because woolly rhino is you know like you you need tons of stuff like 500 to upgrade uh, from one to two red star compared to look at this I already have a few two stars two red stars which is completely not the case right there so yeah to to get to get the the flawless emerald you have basically you basically have to pay or get a few from the shop right there with the achievement thing stuff like that right here so yeah pretty hard to get um, the the woolly mammoth and Smilodin statue are much more FTP friendly, if I must say, because you can get these parts from the crystal mine and stuff like that. So woolly rhino pretty much pay to win, natural goddess pretty much the same, really pay to win, and there is the RNG part, which is a pain. And in these statues, um, what I recommend to prioritize is the skill attack and skill defense because skill damage is pretty insane in the game, especially in PvE. So if you want to improve your Barbarian Fastness score, I really recommend that you upgrade these two. But as you can see, like I prioritize it. It's level 8. Uh, this is level 7 and 5. Right there, level 9, 5, 6, 5. So I prioritize it, but I still upgrade everything. And like level 12 right here. And yeah, I started by saying that. So if you want to upgrade the four parts right here, the, the four, like the worth, the rust, and then the clock, and then the necklace, and then the teardrop, you have to upgrade these things to a certain level. So. To get this one, you have to upgrade the first one to level 7 or something like that. I don't really remember. Then you have to upgrade this one to level 9 to upgrade uh, to uh, unlock the necklace. And then to unlock the teardrop, you have to upgrade the necklace to level 12, which, which is really expensive, really hard. You always add the success rate that decreases. So it really is a pain really hard but once you have all of them unlocked it really gives a huge boost like i wish we could um yeah nope i don't think we can i was looking for like something where we can see all the stats accumulated but i believe we can only see that in the tr 
right uh, trio valley which is for this one it's right there yeah you can see here so skill attack i have uh an additional 10 percent damage for for skill so it scales pretty fast so at first don't just like spam the first one and upgrade it to level whatever uh try to read reach the bottleneck to unlock the next one and then work from here to unlock all of them because as you can see it's the same for all the other statues it's it gets more and more expensive to upgrade them so it's better to like unlock all these and then upgrade them rather than like stop after you unlock there or unlock there because it's 12 it's pretty hard uh it's hard but it's achievable so do it and after that upgrade them and so you can work on on these parts but it's better to unlock them all and upgrade them because it, if you only focus on one it will just get uh coster and costure and more costure so yeah um i'm thinking maybe we forgot something or i'm not sure i think we covered everything yeah honestly i think we covered everything uh, i'm sorry i didn't expect the video to be this long uh most of the information you can find at the start of the video uh, i elaborate a bit after that but yeah i hope it helped uh don't hesitate to share the video spread the love uh the knowledge and whatnot uh, on your server it really helps a lot um it gives me visibility it allows more and more players to get knowledge on the game and therefore enjoy it to its utmost because they will get better and have more fun obviously so thanks to everyone who shares my work and see you on the next video guys uh, if you still have question because i forgot something or just because you have a question or whatnot hit me up uh, in the youtube comments or on discord and i will gladly help you